ketchup, everybody! It's a Christmas episode. I'm wearing a Christmas jumper with a gremlin on it. Uh, I'm very, very excited to be here. Not that I'm not excited, that, not that I would not be more excited to be back in Ireland hanging out with Damon. Let's get on and into the show with our very special guest for this Christmas episode that we hope you enjoy seeing. He's back, our first ever return appearance from the one, the only, Damon Ward! Hi everyone, how's it going? I don't enjoy this whole Christmas thing, this whole, like, this scam that you guys keep pushing on me every year. It's just not, it's just not my vibe. And you put on these weird clothes and you know it's just not... I don't get, it actually makes me feel more alone than, because I'm not a part of that thing that the two of you do. Oh, I'm sorry, can we put a black and white filter on you right now for your weird emo <laughs> phase that you're going through? You couldn't look any more like a guy waiting inside a record store to meet Jared Way and the rest of my <laughs> chemical romance. If I get my issue of the Umbrella Academy signed, I'm going to make a lot of money, so that sounds great. <laughs> the fucking typical. I just want to say that uh, thank you for these two cards that you both have sent me oh, in the lovely. mail this week. Oh, got, them. Got, got them. Did you get the one that I sent you? No, because I didn't send oh, one no. because I'm not a fucking child. Grow oh. up. <laughs> oh, it was for me as well. Oh, no. Yeah. The fucking Grinch over here. What kind of a... What is what is this for a Christmas episode of this show? <laughs> hey, Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, sorry, Dermot. Uh, you're just such a, a wonderful uh, third party to everything that sometimes just blends <laughs> into the background. That's the thing, Dermot. Like, I was talking to our friends, Justine and Martin. I said, congratulations on the podcast the two of you do with just each other. And they said, and Dermot, I went, what? Who? I'm not. I don't want any what? Can I just make it clear that the last time I was on, people thought that you were bullying me, but I just want to say there was just a bit. This, this is a full on bully. <laughs> German, don't even joke. Do you know how many emails I'm going to get? This goes out on Christmas Day. I don't want my Christmas night ruined by emails. I'm like, that sweet giant headed baby boy <laughs> has asked for nothing but your love, and all you can do is attack him. I only want people to be thinking of one baby boy on Christmas, okay? And that's me. Oh, German, what? Is Christmas, what does it mean to you? What it means to everyone, uh, presents and uh, getting shit. You know what I mean? I don't want, I don't want to, uh, yeah. I don't want to give a present. I definitely want to receive some. Uh, I want to get drunk. <laughs> I want to eat. And yep. uh, yeah, it's a, it's a decadent period, isn't it? It is. You're allowed to do whatever you want. You can eat as much as you like. Yeah. You can go wild. Uh, you're allowed to kill like one person, I think. Yeah, and, and blame it on an icy road. But I, I, yeah, I... I <laughs> How are you going to be spending Christmas Day this year? Uh, by the time this goes out, I'm already unconscious because uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably I'll probably have, uh, I'll probably have started drinking it around. Uh, depends on what time I get up. So let's say about uh, conservatively like about 11, 11 a.m. We usually meet up for like a drink around Christmas time and have our, our catch up. Not this go, year. Wow, and not, not this, this year, year, sadly. Yeah. But you and I, we normally meet up and we go, "Wow, we another year we didn't achieve anything we wanted to do." Yeah. Great stuff. <laughs> yeah. Every year, every year, every year, every year. What is it about tradition. Christmas that makes it so special to you? Movies have have made me think that Christmas is a more special time than it is. It's polluted all our minds, and uh, uh, I Home Alone. I've got a thing for Christmas trees because Kevin and Home Alone did. That's like movies of mm. movies have wrecked our brains with Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. I was the Grinch. <laughs> I actually agree with you, Dermot, because ever since I've seen Home Alone and become a grown adult, I can't help every Christmas but breaking into a small child's house, terrifying mm. them. Mm-hmm. Just by myself. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm Just by yourself. Two wet bandits. <laughs> I'm wet enough for two. That's what I say to them as I chase them you, through the house. I'm yeah, wet enough for two. Yeah. You can take the, 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 the punishment of both Harry and Merv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, and the kid's like not getting the references. I'm like, ah, oh, you filthy animal. And the kid's like, I don't know what this is. Mm. Is this a YouTube <laughs> thing? And I'm like, Absolute nah, I'm like, but you're on YouTube. I'm like, I'm going to fuck you up, kid. You're ruining Aww. this for me. Bless, bless George for thinking kids know he's on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> kids don't know we're on YouTube. Older That's people true. do. Yeah. We've we got a new dog and uh, we're, we're going to be bringing our new dog uh, down to uh, my hometown of Athlone, uh, so that 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 should be fun. Where there will be no room at the inn, and then instead, 
me and George, because George is technically two wet bandits, will appear yeah. and give you the different gifts we brought for the dog. Mm. Let's not reference the two wet bandits bit anymore. That's definitely getting cut out. <laughs> 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 me breaking into a kid's house, is, that whole chunk is gone. Absolutely, uh, um, absolutely not, because the one decent line I've gotten so far is ragging on you thinking kids know you're on YouTube, okay? So that's not, that's staying in. The fuck that's why it's getting we, cut out. No, it's staying in. It's absolutely staying in for that reason. No, absolutely staying As the year draws to an end German we look towards 2021 it's going to be so different hopefully from the year that we've just experienced what are you hoping uh to achieve or to look forward to in the new year um you know what I'm I'm dreading the new year I'm dreading things going back to normal to be perfectly honest with you because uh uh you know we've we've already mentioned or 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 uh or uh, you know our years of underachievement and uh, this year we've had a year off of it because it's like everyone's underachieving and i've got an excuse i've got an excuse for it this year when things go back to normal i i have no excuse anymore and i'm dreading that so i'm kind of hoping the the, the vaccines don't work but wait a second george you knew that the one thing i wanted for christmas this year was for dermot to have a terrible year next year so does this Merry mean that Christmas, my Christmas, Damon? The magic of oh. Christmas is alive. After is it? Is it snowing? Damon can't do that effect. It's not snowing. But imagine, imagination, <laughs> imagination right now. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this heart is too big in my. Ch- no, this is a heart, guys. This is a heart attack. Heart attack. Definitely. Wait, I, I sent Viagra. Did you? T- did you think they were candy in your uh, Christmas card? card? That's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh wow! No wonder it split open like a snake's tongue. Um, <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> if you cut that out, I swear to God, I'm never speaking <laughs> to you ever again if you cut that bit out. Nothing reminds me of Christmas more than, than Damon's dick splitting like a forked tongue. I know I and both George have very much appreciated your friendship over the years. And it's been so wonderful to have you um, in all of the different projects that we've put together. And we've included you in everything. And then what a great portrayal it was to see that you started a podcast with two other people mm-hmm. who you barely know. Yeah. And uh, we weren't invited to participate at all. And knowing both yourself and Martin, I just got to say congratulations to Justine for organizing that whole endeavor. Yeah, that's, yeah you, you kind of, yeah. I, do you want me to add to that? Because that's pretty much exactly what has happened. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That is... Like, I know that's exactly, that's like, have you been in the Zoom calls? That's exactly what has happened. I just it's want people precisely... to be aware how real that was. <laughs> <laughs> how that was, that was the most genuine moment in this Christmas episode that you're going to yeah. get, ladies and gentlemen. It is an excellent show that yourself, Justine Martin, is doing. It's available on Patreon and audio and video form. So I do recommend people checking it out. It is a lot of fun. It's like having a drink with uh, you guys. If we can say one thing, it's if you've watched this and you go off and watch their show, you will come back to this with an absolute renewed respect for how much effort we put into this. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> Big time. You'd honestly, like, oh, honestly you God. can edit stuff out? <laughs> honest to God, I have put more effort into this episode than I have into any of ours. And it's appreciated. Yeah. Dermot, thank you so much uh, for joining us here today. Uh, thanks for joining us here on Christmas Day. Merry I Christmas, hope You and your Dermot. family have a lovely time and we look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks to everybody for watching the show. If you've enjoyed it, please uh, give us a like. So thanks very much. Merry Christmas. And next time we'll see you on the Catch up. You'll see us on the substantial meal. Christmas wave. All right, that's not a fucking year over with. Oh, sorry. (laughs) 